YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a aquarium on a budget, as well as I need to give you an update on some good and some bad news on the Angel Fish and Discus Aquarium. If you wanna know what's been going on and why this tank turned into a bloodbath, and we've got some good news for this tank, then make sure you stick through to this video. I also took a trip down to my local fish store yesterday as well, it was my birthday, and managed to get pick up some fish, so we got some new fish to add to the aquariums. So if you're interested in any of the things in this video today, and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you're a returning viewer to this channel, then if you do me a massive favour and hit that like button and drop me a comment below, just to show YouTube that you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these. But I think that's enough of me waffling on now, let's make a start on setting up this tank. For those of you who've been following the channel for quite a while, we set up this tub as an aquarium, a quarantine tub and a hospital tank back in the last room. It's something I haven't set up for a while and I thought it'd be handy to set this up and have it on standby and you'll learn why that's so important later on in the video so make sure you stick through to the end. But this is a food safe container that holds 60 litres of water and there's plenty of uses that you can have for this sort of setup and I'll go through some of those later in the video. Before we do anything else, let's drain this tank. So now we've emptied the tub, let's remove it and let's check out what's in it. Since I've been in this room, I've been using this tub just to store extra media, so like sponges, old filters, media, um, anything that'll help set up tanks in the future. Um, I've also been soaking some driftwood and some bogwood for some upcoming projects, but this tank has been running without a filter, hasn't had a heater or anything else in it for the time being. But as you can see, there's lots of filter media, old filters, and it's gone a bit disgusting to be fair. So we'll empty these out and we'll give them a good clean. So as you can see, the tub has got quite dirty over time. I just cleaned this down now with just plain water, a sponge, and I've used a toothbrush to get some of the uh, dirtier spots away. But as you can see, this is a really easy tank to clean down, even if you want to start from scratch each time. Now the tank is ready and nice and clean, we'll just add it back to the rack and we'll carry on setting this up. So any of the equipment we use today I already have, so we're going to add a simple glass heater into this tank and I've got an internal filter for it. So I'm going to remove media from one of my existing tanks and add it into this one so we can get this tank started straight away and we should be able to add fish straight away. So now that we've chosen our heater, it's just time to add that in. I'm going to set this at 25 degrees, I don't want it too hot or too cold, I'm going to hopefully have some plants in here for the time being as well. Okay, so as this tank doesn't have a hood or any top at all, we need to add a light. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a small LED light that came from a previous nano tank that I've used. I'm just going to add some double-sided sticky pads to it and stick it on the underside of the shelf. As you can see, I just need to cut the pads into smaller sizes and add them on. And then that should stick nicely above the tank. It'll be placed on a timer, so it'll be on for roughly about eight hours a day. I do need a light on this tank because I hope there will be housing plants in it at some point. But as you can see, it's a nice compact light unit and should do the job perfectly for what we need it for. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be using some established media from another tank. So I took a sponge out of the Discus and Angel fish tank and we cut them to size. I needed two little bits of sponge from this filter and added them together just to fit the filter nicely, but they'll definitely do the job and allow us to add fish straight away. So as you can see, I'm just in the process of pushing these into the filter now. And then we just need to fill it with water, hook it up, and we should be ready to go. Okay, so like I said, we just need to add the water now, which is a really easy job, just simply tipping the buckets of water in, not worrying about substrate being disturbed or plants being dislodged. We're going to add some uh, CKM Red into this, which is a chlorinator, which will make it ready for fish. But now we just knock the filter on and we'll let it run. Okay, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that setup and we'll touch on that a little bit later on in the video. But like I said in the intro, there was a bit of news I needed to update you on these guys. So when I was setting this tank up and or tub on the day, um, I was halfway through doing it and I noticed two of the discus 
hearing off and just keeping an eye on those and that was fine. I was cracking on getting the site set up and making this video. And then two minutes later I turned around and the discus were viciously attacking one of the angel, the female angel fish in this tank. Now at first, yeah, they might have a little squabble, it didn't worry me at first, but this probably continued for the next five, ten minutes and the angel fish took a real beating. So I was racing to get this tank set up because having a hostile tank was a perfect situation to have given what happened. And by the time I'd set that up in the next five minutes, I looked around and the angel fish was floating along the top. So um, I managed to get the tub up to temperature, the same as the tank, I managed to add her in pretty much five to ten minutes after this had happened. She started to swim around um, in the tub and she was looking a lot more alert, she wasn't flat on the top of the surface anymore. But uh, when I looked at her on further inspection, she had a lot of damage to her tail, to her fins, she had some scales and some sort of abrasions along her face. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, the angelfish have tended to fight in the past when they've had eggs or they've been breeding, but nothing like this. So we added her into the tub and she wasn't looking great throughout the night to be fair. She was still sort of keeping herself upright. Later on in the evening when I come up she was sort of struggling with that a little bit more. Um, but she was still there. But the next day unfortunately when I did wake up she had passed away. So we have lost an angelfish unfortunately. Um, but I thought it was really strange obviously the last video that we did I was talking about the angelfish and discus tank and how they've been fine, they've been compatible, schooling together. And this just happened out of nowhere. Well, as far as I thought, um, after this had happened, I got the angel fish into the quarantine tub. I was checking out what was going on in the discus tank, and it turned out the two of the discus were trying to breed. So, young discus, but it was probably the first time they've actually bred. I noticed the female running eggs up the intake of the filter, um, and the male was just going straight behind and eating up the eggs. So, they're obviously inexperienced in breeding, and they're working this out. But obviously, the same as with the angel fish when they, have, they were having eggs. There was lots of territory and battles and things like that, but they would stay away from each other and keep their own territories. But this, I'd never seen any attack like it before. So I've been keeping a close eye on them at the moment, and obviously we've got a setup now that we can separate any if we need to for the time being. But unfortunately, we did lose the angel fish, but obviously we do have a bit of breeding action from the discus fish as well, which is quite interesting, but unfortunately it led to that incident. So it wasn't the best day to be fair and it was really disappointing to lose angelfish, this is really good. So we've had these angelfish for probably about four years now and they've been doing really well. But these things happen in the fish hobby I suppose. Uh, I suppose we just need to move on and just make sure we're caring for everything we have already. But like I said we've got some fish to add in today's video into two of the tanks. But I'm going to go over a bit more about the quarantine system now. If you stick around to the end of the video obviously we'll take a look at the new fish as well. Okay, so like I said, now that we've got the tank set up, I, like I said in the intro, there's plenty of uses you can have for a tank like this, and as this story with the angelfish and the discus has shown, you know, it's always handy to have a quarantine or spare tank on hand just in case anything happens. And on the day I was setting this up, there was nothing that could have proved it even more. But I initially wanted to set this up because I had a big plant delivery the other day, about four boxes of plants being delivered and that's for a future scape and some little projects that I can get tidy in some of these tanks up and perhaps add in a bit more detail in. So if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and you want to see a bit more on that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So there's lots of things you can use this for. Obviously I'm using it for plants at the moment and we've got a big plant delivery. We've had about four boxes of plants being delivered because we've got a new tank coming and there's some tidying up and some prettying up. I want to do some of the existing setups. Um, also we've used it as a hospital tub already. We've had it set for three days and we've used it for a hospital tub as well. I used it in the past as well for sinking bogwood. Now the main reason I want to show you this setup today is because I know a lot of you will be sat at home, bored, on lockdown and looking for things to do. Now if you're looking to try and set up your first aquarium and concerned about money, then this is a cheap way of doing that. Now I've added equipment into this that I bought in the past, but I will put a video out there shortly about how to set up some of these things, uh, DIY sort of projects, or how to make a filter yourself, and you can make this cost even smaller. But I think that's enough on this tank now. Let's check out the new fish. Okay, so like I said, I head down to my local fish store the other day. Yeah, we we're on lockdown, but I still needed fish food and some dechlorinator. Um, so I thought, why not treat myself while I'm there? It was my birthday, and I know my fiance wanted to treat me to some new fish, which is great. 
So you take a look around the shop and it's a aquatic house in Canton in Cardiff and I'll put a link down to the details as well in the description. Now, as you know, I got the discus from this store probably about three, four weeks ago now. I was really impressed with the quality of the discus and it was great to see they still had one of the ones I was considering buying along with them, but I thought I'd try and do it in time. Now, obviously we've lost one of the angel fish and I was concerned that the two discus had paired up and there would be one on its own, perhaps getting picked on. So I wanted to even the numbers out a little bit. So we're taking a look around the store and this disc is still there, still in the same tank, no change had been made. I was really grateful that I didn't need to quarantine this fish, it had been sat in the tank since the end of February I believe. No changes were made, it was still in the tank that I bought the original discus from. And Paul the owner was happy that he'd had the fish for over four or five weeks that he can add it straight into this aquarium which we've done. Now since putting the discus in, which you probably expect those of you who've kept discus or cichlids in the past, that they operate on a sort of hierarchy system like the angelfish do to a degree as well. And they're still trying to work that out at the moment. So there's a little bit of disruption initially. When I came in this morning, the, the fish had calmed down a little bit and they were all sort of swimming together and it was less the aggression. So I'd imagine that might last for a week or so, but I keep a close eye on it now just in case there's any fish we need to remove hopefully now we reset the balance and the hierarchy and keep them as a group. Now, as we've lost with the angel fish, initially we were going to do three and three, so three discus, three angel fish in the 50 gallon aquarium. But I think at the moment, now the way it's gone, we've got the pair of angel fish that are spawning together. I think we'll leave that as it is at the moment and we'll eventually look to get probably maybe six discus eventually when we put them in the 50 gallon and hopefully have a nice group there that will sort of diffuse them the hierarchy a little bit as well. But like I said, I wanted to get something to put into this tub. I wanted to make sure we had some fish swimming around the plants and obviously we're giving some nutrients to the plants and obviously back into the filter as well. So it's been a long time since I've kept any grammies or dwarf grammies especially. Never had any luck with them in the past. Now, when I went to the shop, there was quite some mature adults um, in there and we've got a flame grammy as you can see. I thought he'd look lovely in this tub and a good chance for me to try and get this right and try and keep a grammy finally. But when we got them, we just floated them in the tanks for about 25 to 35 minutes along those lines just to make sure they're temperature acclimated and then drain them out of the bags, removing any of the aquarium water and then put them into the, their own aquariums. But they've been in there for a day since I've made this video and this morning they're all doing fine. The new discus fish is still a little bit shy in finding this place, but they're still getting along well. There's been less fighting and aggression there today. And the Grammy seems to love his new setup as well with all his plants new is to hide. But I'll keep you up to date on how the angel fish and discus tanks are going and I'll rejoin you at the desk. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and you've got to see how to set up a cheap aquarium. Obviously, we'll have a look at the discus the angelfish, some good and some bad news. Obviously, losing the angelfish, but we've also got some breeding activity with the discus. So it might be something we can look at in the future. And as well, we've looked at the new arrivals we've had in the flame garami and obviously we've added an additional discus into the tank as well. So as always, I'll keep you up to date on anything that's going on in this room and any of the enclosures. Like I've said in the last couple of videos, Castro will be doing an update on her very, very soon and her enclosure. I got a delivery coming next week of a new ADA 45P aquarium, as well as a new lighting system, some new filtration. We've got some new hardscape, uh, planted substrate. We've got all new plants and a bin full of plants ready to go there. So if those are the sort of things that interest you and you're not subscribed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I do upload videos every Sunday, so make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on those. But I'll put, as always, I'll put a little compilation of the things we covered in today's video right at the end, so make sure you stick through to the end. As you can see, I'm a bit over, overly merged today, obviously with the hat and the t-shirt, but those are available in the links in the description as well as on my profile as well. So be sure to go and check those out, as well as the store for reptile and fish keeping products as well. I'll probably throw some around me now. Any of the money that I make goes straight back into this channel, making the animals' lives and the quality of these videos even better. So if you can show me any support, I'm really, really grateful. But as always, thanks very much for checking out my video today. Thanks for those who are sticking with me, and hello to any new subscribers. And I'll see you next time.